What's up everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some work on my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. And uh, what we will be doing is um, changing out the the axles, both, ax both front axles. Reason is um, I busted the boots, the rubber boots. Um, and um, you might say, oh, why won't we just change out the boots, you know? In order to change out the boots, you have to remove the axles anyway. So what I thought was I'll just, that way it makes the process quicker. I can put in aftermarket boots or aftermarket axles. And I, then I have my stock or uh, OEM axles that I can take my time with and uh, reboot. And I can always, if I want to go back to the, to the original ones, I can swap them back or just keep them as the spares when the next time or you know take them on the trails and if I bust one and I can swap them out out there. It might be super difficult to do out there, but if I bring the right tools, I could do it out there. Um, and that's basically it. That's why I'm putting in new ones. Not because I think the new ones will be any better. They're probably not. I'm just hoping they, they're similar in uh, in strength and in quality. And um, and you might say, why don't you uh, take this to a professional and uh, have somebody who knows what they're doing installed? Because I have never done this. I have never worked really on a on a vehicle. I usually work on bikes, and even then, I don't even know what I'm doing there. But uh, you might say, why don't you take it to a prof professional? And I would say you haven't been watching the channel. Uh, that's kind of what I do. I just kind of learn things and uh, sometimes I break things and I mess things up and it costs me a lot of money. I pay the idiot tax but overall I, I get a good experience and I learn about what my vehicle is doing and uh, and, and it, it's always helpful out in the trails when you break something it's very important that you know what you're doing and, and you can get yourself out of a, of a bad situation especially hundreds of miles out in the middle of the desert. So yeah, I got my hat on because it's uh, like going to be like 90 today and it's hot as hell and I got this suit on. The reason I wear this suit is just so I can stay clean and you know, I can go inside the house, take it off and I'm, I'm good to go. <sighs> Alright, so first things first is I'm just going to loosen up the lugs. Um, so I've already tried to do this and um, I realized that I have spline. Uh, lug nuts um, which basically are like a locking type of lug nut which keeps it like safer I guess so that people can't steal your wheels I guess but um, so I didn't know this I've never known this since I bought the truck I didn't know these blind uh, lug nuts existed so I never knew about it so at, at least all this time that I've been going out and uh, going off-roading if I got a flat out there I would have had no way of taking it off because I don't have the key and um, I checked the, uh, the, sp the like the spare tire, like the changing stuff. There's no key in there. Um, I don't know like if the previous owner even knew that they were supposed to have one, or I don't know. I, I couldn't find anything like as to even which uh, which splines spline lug nuts these were. So um, I had to like kind of shop around. I went the stupid way. I could have just gone down to the store and and see if they had some that fit this truck, but I, I just kind of shopped around and I, I finally figured out which one it was. It's a uh, size uh, 41 by 64 splines. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the only way you can take them off. Uh, I hear that if you like maybe force another um, a regular socket in, like like basically break the, the splines, then you can like force them off if you absolutely have to. But yeah, so that, that was my mistake and now I know and I kind of stripped one of them. I did the back, I was doing the back just to measure it and I just kind of stripped one of them so I might have to replace, see if I can, I probably won't find a single lug so I might have to uh, do the whole thing, but we'll see. Um, yeah, um, got this, I got my uh, 19 millimeter socket that that's gonna hook up to, like so. And I will crank on these and hopefully everything comes off okay. I've seen on Amazon that they uh, break off on the reviews, so hopefully these don't.
All right, so real quick, um, taking off the dust cover here was not easy for me at all, like impossible. Um, I actually, I had to break it. I just, I broke it. I could not get it to come out. And it was not even, I thought it was like, oh, maybe it's glued on or something. No, it's just, it's ridiculously tight. And it just would not come out. So I'm now forced to find a way to mend this. Maybe JB Weld, it's just the dust cover. Like it literally has no purpose but to keep dust out of here. So maybe JB Weld it and uh, just enough for it to seal. Good enough. It's all warped now, so it might not even fit in here. That's my other issue, so. These are like $17 a piece I just saw online. It's ridiculous, it would not come out. There's no way to take it out. It, there's a video that was like, oh, you just pry it out with a fucking screwdriver. It does not come out with just a screwdriver. It's, it was on there, it was on there. So that's where we're at now. This is. comes off so easily. Hear a huge pop. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like something went wrong, pop. Okay. Okay. Huge pop. Kind of, yeah.
we're gonna use the same technique to pop it back in. If we were to just swap them quickly, you probably wouldn't have lost so much oil. 